What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Friend and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be diving in and checking out the Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game Complete Edition trailer. Now before I dive in and give my thoughts, give my opinions on this, you read the title, I have never played Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I have watched a movie of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and I've only seen like a little bit of gameplay of Scott Pilgrim vs. World. I've seen tons and tons of screenshots, but it, I, it was never something that actually pulled me to actually try to go and play the game. The game has been delisted from Xbox 360 on PS3 uh, years ago, and there was no physical versions of the game at all, so you had to actually had a copy of it on your system to, in order to play it. And again, unfortunately, back in those days, I didn't do that. I never picked up Scott Pilgrim vs. World, so when it, when it left the store, it left, and I never had it actually access to play the game now 2020 it's coming back complete editions fans has been axing for this game for years there's always always every couple of months a, a post about scott program versus world and basically people rallying around trying to get this game to happen it finally happened let's dive in let's check out the trailer again i'm coming at somebody that doesn't have attachment to the game i know a lot of people do let's see if this game could win me over just from the trailer. Has it been that long? It's been 10 years? 10th birthday? Since the game came out? Four player co op? Yeah. A beloved game. Different characters are cool. Weapons. It looks kind of Neo Geo ish. If that makes any sense. Soundtrack is pretty cool. Yeah, there's, there's ultras, specials. Sun hat. Oh, guitar hero. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. What, those are DLC characters? Available holiday 2020. Watch it now. Okay, cool. Okay, very interesting. Obviously, 2D platformers don't really need to... Well, I, it, it's not a platformer. It's a 2D side scroller beat em up. I want to get that clear. I, I probably said platformer a couple of times, but it's a 2D side scrolling beat em up. And it looks fine. It looks like something that I would definitely play with my daughter, jump in, and probably get an ass kicked because it does look fucking difficult as fuck. Is it difficult? Let me know in the comment section below. It does look fun. It does look fun. I give it that. The boss battles does look interesting. Every time they're holding a weapon, it looks like they're dealing a crazy amount of damage. And it looks fun to just, you know, especially in beat em ups to have like weapons. This is cool because the, the movie had tons of like callbacks and like dope references to stuff. And I, I don't know if that translated in the game. However, seeing that Guitar Hero scene kind of gets me hyped to see what other stuff that they can you know draw inspirations to or point to in the game and it's available holiday 2020 so it is coming up soon don't have to wait too long for it this was a good showing this was a good trailer if i had to grade it though i'll probably give it a three out of five there was nothing in the trailer that kind of like wowed me over the top granted it is again like 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 i just said it's a it's a 2D beat em up, you know what I'm saying? So it's not, it's not, you know, The Last of Us 2 gonna blow my socks off with the story, but it does look fun and it does look like it plays well, if that makes any sense. And you could, you could see that the translation, the way the combos are just flowing and like the characters are moving and stuff like that, you could, you could tell that it's kind of tight. Like it's tight with the controls and how everything plays, which is great. And to me, I feel like a lot of games, 2D side scroll beat em ups, like they feel kind of loose and not like responsive. And it's crazy because I, the last one I played was uh, um, Streets of Rage 4. 
and it felt real loose and didn't felt tight i i think it got patched and they fixed it but it, like again i i was totally not let down about the game because the game is, is is dope you should go and play it but this one was um more so again it translated that you can see the hits and see how good it feels to play this game in the trailer and that's important so yeah i'm gonna give it a three out of five i'm not gonna spend too much time with this trailer again i don't have too much nostalgia for scott pilgrim versus the world however this does look dope and everyone wanted this game to come back so badly i had to check it out and if you're one of those people that wanted this game to come back so badly let me know in the comment section below let me know why you guys were so attached to this game it looks amazing granted it looks dope i think more people were kind of attached to it because the idea of them not being able to play it and it being such a great game and you know not being able to get it no more because of the fact that it got delisted off of the um, playstation store and off of the xbox 360 arcade store so let me know what your thoughts about it in the comment section below like always i answer all comments so if you're new around here and you're enjoying the vibes hit that subscribe button let's have a conversation in the comments about scout program versus world let me know what your thoughts on the trailer what would you grade it out of five no nostalgic attachments what would you grade it out of five keep it real with me i think it's pretty cool it's funny because every time i keep watching it i keep seeing more stuff that's that's like dope dope like the, the boss battles look insane i can't wait and if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one